as you guys can see we have a unique series coming your way now if you guys are receiving these vlogs as of right now just know that that's probably a good indicator me and paul are in the process of delivering this baby or we have already and we are now in recovery mode so this series is going to be different from all the other series. Why, you may ask? It's because I have a baby in my tummy. So with this chronic illness series, we are going to be talking about the chronic illnesses I have been dealing with and how it has affected me during pregnancy. I truly hope these chronic illness series vlogs, guys, are helping you guys and on your medical journey as well. And I definitely want to get into it and talk about how it's affected me during my pregnancy because a lot of you guys have asked and I am here to share. Guys, if you want much more specific details on our chronic illnesses, definitely check out our chronic illness series. This series will be all about my pregnancy and how it has affected all my other illnesses. So if you want more info on that though, check that out. So guys, today's vlog is going to be featuring me. I know Janice has been talking about her difficulties during pregnancy and how her chronic illnesses has affected her. This one is about the caregiver who is me and how it has affected me, some of the challenges I have faced with Janice being pregnant and ups and downs and how this has affected me on a day-to-day -day basis. So obviously being a caregiver to somebody who has chronic illnesses is one thing and then being pregnant is another and then someone who is pregnant and has chronic illnesses is another thing. So Janice and I have always had this kind of system in place. Some days we're both running at 100%, we're perfect. One person has to take it easy, the other person supplements what one person can. not So if I have to take it easy, Janice picks the pace up and does stuff around the house, does whatever needs to be done, and vice versa. So with this pregnancy, Janice has had to be in more of a rest mode more than anything else because of the baby and her not feeling well, and it has, taking its toll on her. So what happens is that I have taken on this huge load for now almost nine months. And don't get me wrong, I would do all of this again in a heartbeat without a single doubt in my mind. The only thing is how it has affected me. It has affected me in the way with my Crohn's disease. With my Crohn's disease, stress, you know, not sleeping, not getting enough rest, not eating or drinking enough and stuff like that. All these things can kind of intertwine and make me feel worse and make my symptoms flare up and just not be the best for me. Obviously having my wife being pregnant and going through hospitalization at the beginning of the pregnancy for her thyroid, having to go to the OB, ER and all these things, that causes a huge amount of stress on me and I'll be very honest, it has caused me to flare up a little bit, not feel the very best some days. You know, there'd be some days that I have to take off of work and just stay home. I couldn't handle the stress of going to work, dealing with everything for hours on hours, and then come home and having to deal with even more stuff at home. And, you know, it's not a bad thing. We like to keep our house very clean and organized. So it would be cleaning, organizing laundry, dishes, making food, dinner, lunch, making sure Janice has everything, make sure the dogs are taken care of. And, you know, a lot of days I could handle it. And some days I did get a little overwhelmed. And that's when I would have to take a step back. Thankfully, with my work, we work for ourselves and I can afford to take a day off with no problem. Everything is on autopilot, it's, it's okay. Definitely something that helped me out a lot because if I had to work for a company where it's, I have to adhere to my schedule, whatever they say, and if not, you get in trouble, you get fired, that would have made this, you know, 10 times worse. So a big question that we have seen from the very beginning of our pregnancy journey. How are you guys going to take care of a baby when both of you guys have chronic illnesses? Now again, chronic illnesses does not debilitate us each and every single day. We have good days as well as we have not so good days and then we have bad days, obviously. And again, Janice and I, we don't have bad days together very often. Like that's very far and few in between. As I mentioned before, you know, there'll be some days where I'm at 100%, Janice is at 50%. So then I take over what she would have done and take care of anything that has to be taken care of. And again, if I have to take a more chill day, she can pick up the slack and make sure that everything is taken care of. And that is what's called teamwork in a marriage. Denise and I have been married for many years and we have made this system work for us very marvelously, honestly. And again, it just works for us. And 
neither one of us is completely out of the count at the same time. You know, we always try to do the best we can and... Teamwork is the dream work. All in all, we have an amazing support system between Janice and I. We have the system that we're going to work together and, you know, pick up the slack for each other when there is any. And obviously, when Janice first gets out of the hospital, she's going to be 100% into recovery mode and I have to do everything. And this is where we have a support system of our family members who can come over, help us out, take care of things, take certain shifts for the baby, for us, give me time to go shower and take care of Janice and stuff like that. And these are all things that we are working out. And thankfully, like I said, we have an amazing, amazing group of people who are going to be helping us. But we're truly blessed to have this because we have a lot more than what most people probably have started with when they had their first child. And we are very, very grateful for that. And these are things that we are super grateful and, you know, we are looking forward to this journey. And this is not something that we're scared at all. Obviously, you know, it's new territory. And, you know, completing in with my Crohn's disease of, you know, when I get closer to my due date of my Stellara injection, I do start feeling a little... Eh? This is where when I start feeling like that, Janice can help me out and pick up some of the slack. So when it comes down to having chronic illnesses and children, this is not something that chronic illnesses are going to stop you 100%. It's something that, you know, you need to listen to your body and know your limitations but it's not something that is going to inhibit you 100%. If my daughter is crying and I'm not feeling good and you know, if we didn't have children, I will just lay in bed, relax and I'll be fine. If my daughter's crying, I'm still able to get up, go take care of her, handle the situation, handle whatever needs to be handled. There's no big deal. So it's just one of those things that again, know your limitations, know what you can and cannot do. And if possible to have a support system or a system how Janice and I have where, you know, we work as a team, Great! Obviously, every single person is different and everybody's situation is different. The way how we have everything planned out, I think is going to be a great system for us. And again, chronic illnesses, you know, do guide your life to a certain degree, but it does not dictate your life 100% down to every single detail. Alrighty, guys! So that is it for today's vlog or today's vlog of the week. And I truly hope this has helped you guys and possibly making a decision if being pregnant and having these certain conditions work out for you. Guys, once again, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. It truly means the world to us. It helps us spread so much more awareness and once again, helps educate others. Also, do not forget to check out our other social media platforms such as Orion's Instagram. You guys are probably seeing some updates here and there and as well as our Patreon. Patreon is definitely getting the inside scoop of what's going on. They were probably the first ones to know we went into labor, so check that out, guys. Also, guys, do not forget to check out our baby Amazon registry. You know, the baby's officially here, so if you guys wanna send last minute gifts and helpful tips and tricks, that would be amazing. So guys, this is where we end it. Once again, keep up with our journey and we cannot wait to talk more about how everything labor and delivery went. So guys, for now, adieu and goodbyes.